Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play of Heart of Iron 4, playing as Columbia. Playing with the new Man the Guns DLC, and I guess the guns we're manning are a bunch of rifles and rocket artillery and things like that, because we haven't done a single ship. We've got two ships up here, and uh, that's about it. So I apologize if you're joining to see the cool new Man the Gun stuff. We're not really probably featuring that much of it. There's a few things we might be showing off, but that I actually just wouldn't know about, because... I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with the game to know all the other things they added in besides like some of the fuel resources and obviously some of the ship stuff. But I'm sure there's other things that they've added in that, that we've been taking advantage of and I just didn't realize it. Anyway, we are very slowly, much slower than I would have liked, winning this war of attrition with uh, Peru. Which, you know, once we get them, that's, that's going to basically double our factories and, and other things. So it will be very, very nice to have. But it's taking us taking us quite a bit, quite a while. We do have, didn't end up winning this one. We're able to hold on to this one though. This is pretty critical being able to hold on to this airfield. Up, oh, we did push them back here. That is pretty huge. And it looks like we do got some troops moving in there to, uh, to fill in that location. That's awesome. Well, there's somebody back, but I think we're going to take that one back real quickly. Okay, there we go. We're getting in there. That's good. If we can push them up to this river, you know, that, that's, a, that's a huge win. Um, yeah. Also, if we could just punch a hole through here and just send some troops down along the, the coast of Lima. I mean, how many points is this worth? This one's worth five victory points. This one's worth one. What other victory points do they have? Five, one. There may be a victory point lens somewhere that I can, like, see better but um like even that's not worth a victory point is it no so truthfully if we're able to get down to uh lima that might be all we need so on that note what i may do is grab not you grab you my cav bring them over here yeah bring them over here first and if we can get through here and just just go right down the coast with those faster cav Maybe. Maybe that's a way to win this fester. Let's see. It's worth a shot. Uh oh, we're, we're, we're about to lose this one. Come on, guys. Get in there. Um, you guys are moving in. You guys are moving in. Okay, we're getting some more reinforcements coming in. I, we might be able to hold it. It's going to be close. We don't have much organization. But we are getting our troops in there. All right, we're starting to flip it around. Okay, there we go. Now we got troops in there. Much, much better. All right, so there we go. And these guys are just going to keep pushing down as well. So they'll keep doing their thing. Little by little. I guess you guys are getting reorganized. I was like, why are you guys back off the line? You're just getting some reorganization, which is fair. All right. So our mountaineers are still doing their thing. Still trying to push up to this line here. To go through the mountains and stuff. Right, come on, Cav. Get over here. I want you over here to help punch through here. We're doing little probing attacks here and there, which aren't really getting us super far, but, you know, every little bit, I guess, helps in the long run. We're going to have some good ground support boost here in 30 days. That's going to be helpful. The hospitals is going to be nice, although we are literally, <laughs> effectively, out of manpower at this point. Um, but we'll be able to get uh, that boosted up here in a little bit. Oh, actually, we can probably do that right now. I was not paying attention. My apologies. Um, there. So we're going to go ahead and jump up to, I guess, service by requirement. It's going to double our recruitment population from the uh, from the laws themselves. Which is fine. And then eventually we may go up to uh, all adults serve, but for now this is fine. It's going to lower our factory production a bit, which is not ideal. Maybe we can eventually drop it back down if we get to a much better 
place. But the fact that our manpower now is literally zero is uh, is a bit rough. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab you guys. Uh, not you. Keep clicking the wrong ones. I don't want you guys to keep going back over there because that's not helping us at all. Yours is this one. So delete that and make sure you guys are... In fact, I may not even give you a front line anymore because I think at this point you're just getting confused. So I'm going to go ahead and make you come over here and just have you guys just be more mobile. You're going to be our manual kind of pushers here and there as we decide to... Uh, probe different spots in the line. Okay, so you're all here. Stop trying to move back. I want you all here. No. Why are you trying to go all the way up to there? That's not helping me anyway. You know what? Just attack. Just attack. Uh, Mountaineers attack too. And then actually, while they're doing that, how about you guys attack this, just to see if we can keep those guys busy to make sure they don't affect us. Ooh, we're about to lose this here if we're not careful. Can you guys get in there in time? Probably not. Uh, does this connect? This does connect. So you guys will need to... Okay, one of you guys is coming over. Actually, we may not be need to send all you guys. Let's just grab one of you guys. Send you over. Maybe that's enough. Mm, Starting to lose this one now. We had a momentary green on both of those. Currently flipping back around. Are we gonna be able to flip this one back? Hard to say. It's going down very, very slowly. We are bringing in reinforcements. They got a lot of units coming in here, though. A lot of units. Looks like they're attacking with both of these sets. Which I don't blame them. Alright, we are slowly starting to flip that one around, maybe. It's hard to say. These down here are starting to lose. Those cab are still trying to go up there. For, I'm sure they have reasons. What about here? What if we probed into this spot? Would that help anything? Not specifically. All right, how about you just guys just come back up here. We'll get your organization back up, your, your strength back up, and then we'll figure out what to do with you after that. Still losing this. I mean, we can move some more units over here, but I mean, from where? What are you guys doing back here? Why are you guys not on the front line? What am I missing? I don't think anything. Because I feel like you guys should be spreading out. Although, maybe they're just staying back because of attrition, organization, things like that. Probably more the attrition side of things. Well, I mean, this one's going back and forth. I'm mean, still only it's wavering back and forth. We might be okay. We may just need to settle in for a little bit. You know, just, just hold off on the aggressive attacks for just a little bit till we get some organization and stuff like that back. Some of the manpower coming back in. You guys are swinging around that way. Okay. Oh, you still have a front liner. I thought I deleted that. That's why they're confused. Um, grab you. Delete your order. I thought I got rid of that. So why are you guys so confused? All right, so there's a direct ground support. That's that's going to help us. What happened to all of our units? What did I just do? What did I just do? Oh, that was throwing me off for a second there. Um, yeah, just stay here, guys. You guys are fine. Research slot available. Um, come down this way. Ace generation chance. Kind of nice. Air wing mission experience gain. Not bad. Air superiority missions are also good to have. Close air support, agility, 
I do think working our way down to this would be useful. So which one of these do we want? I mean, this one might be better. Higher supporting, higher superiority and all that stuff. But I kind of like the ace generation chance thing. It sounds cool. Just for cool factor. I got to go for the aces. Come on. Right? Um, do we even have any aces? Are we able to see if we have any aces? Um, I don't know where that would show up. Maybe under the air? Would we know? I think it would show up um, in one of these spots that, like, I think it would show up. Maybe it would show up here or something. So I don't think we actually have any right this second. I could be wrong, but I don't think we do. Um, do we need to move some fighters down here to get better air superiority down in this area? No. I mean, our fighters are currently trying to cover at least a couple of these tiles, but they're not actually helping with our advance right now. How many um, air units does Peru still have, actually? 30 to 43 planes. Still enough to mess with our dive bombers a bit. Um, but we're probably okay. Like, I can reduce this down to 100. I can make this 150 and a 50 wing of fighters. And that actually might be better. Let's change you to plus 50. And then we're going to get rid of this wing entirely. Disband air wing. Which more of them will go to that, which is fine. And then we're going to bring in some fighters. We're going to add... We'll just add an, a fighter air wing. That's going to be okay. Um, we'll make sure that this is set to 50. And it's going to start with a small amount, but that's okay. They're going to be okay. And you guys are going to do air superiority stuff. Should be fine. All right, perfect. It'll grow up quickly enough. All right, we're still starting to lose this one a little bit. It's not great. Try and rush, rush our cab in there. Maybe that'd help out. Might slightly flip in a, a little bit our way, but not enough. And these other little probing attacks aren't really going our way. I was really hoping to punch into here and just be able to send our cab down the line. All right, so now it's slowly flipping a little bit. Not by much, though. All right, once you guys get some organization up, which you seem to be getting it slowly, and your strength is coming back, we may then try another attack down this way. Yeah, we may be about to lose this one. Um, I mean, we could select this guy and do, like, one of these things where we, uh... Oh, hold on a second. You have the ability to increase planning speed. You. Where are you? Oh, I did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. Uh, not sure what I clicked to actually make that happen. I was not trying to do that. I was trying to click on you to see what your stuff was. Makeshift bridges. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I keep forgetting to hit these buttons to help us out with our attacks and things. Let's do... And we could do last stand, but he's actually starting to flip that around. All right, let's get our guy back, because that was, that was a mistake. What, what am I doing wrong? Oh. Yeah, I don't know how I... just accidentally unselected y'all's leader. I think it's fine. We got him back, but it was a little weird. Oh, he's got a timer now. Okay, that was that was a bit unfortunate. Yeah, when we do another attack over here, we'll probably need to click the little button that allows those guys to get a little bit of a boost to their attack. Yeah, 
Yeah, we lost we lost his buff for several days there. Bit of a mistake. I'm actually not sure what button I hit. Uh, air wings with no missions, really? Oh, did I not select this area? So yeah, y'all are in that area. Hmm, we're starting to we're starting to lose a bit more than they are these days, so that's not helpful. All right, that field hospital hopefully helps a bit. Let's go ahead and grab some more of these these 42 ones. Engineering company entrenchment seems relevant right about now. Do all of our things have field hospitals at this point? Let's see here. These are our main troops. So they have the field hospital, they have the recon, they have support, they have engineering company, and they also have anti-air, which could change some of these around to give them the rockets. Like if I gave you the rockets here, what would that change? Slightly increase breakthrough, but lower some of the other things. I don't think we want to do that. I think the artillery is fine for the moment. Could change one of these to rockets. Just give them a little bit of variety. Same kind of thing, though. I mean, it just... Yeah. Um, the anti-air... If we change that over... Lowers a little bit of their heart attack, their piercing. That might be a thing. Because we aren't facing that many aircraft right now. Actually, if we did that, how much how short would we be? We'd be a little bit short. How short are we right now on anti-air? Let's see here. Anti-air, we're still short 700. So the rocket artillery would just be about the same shortage, to be honest. So it's an idea. We could do something like that. Um, what about these other guys? You're like full on cav and just a few support units, which I think is okay. What else we got to you? Oh, you're just a motorized. We're not even using you right now. And then you are, you don't have the anti-air, you're more breakthroughs. Okay, I think we're okay for the moment, I guess. We're trying to get the rockets for our elite units first and then we'll go from there. Yeah, this, this right here. I mean, it's the airfield, so it's very critical for us to defend, to be fair. We are wavering quite a bit. I don't actually understand why you guys aren't trying to sneak in there and help us out. Because I don't think you're doing anything positive for us back here. Or is there... Is there like a connection here that I'm just not realizing? How do I see... Um, Let's see here. Not that. How do I select the province? There we go. Can we see what you're bordering? Is there a way? I don't see a way. Because I kind of want to see what provinces are adjacent to you. Um, it might be here and I'm just not seeing it. And I think this is... That's why they're there. Because this technically is connected. Wow. That little sliver is why those guys are there. Okay, that's starting to make some more sense. You guys are there for that. You guys are there for that. Okay, now this is making more sense, I guess. Well, then the only units that we can really rush into there to help us out would be these guys. Okay, let's get you in there. Maybe it's enough to spin that around for now. And we'll see what happens. At the very least, you guys move fast technically although going over the mountain i can't imagine that you're gonna move that fast uh we do have decisions available still which we know about low manpower we know about Infinite, insufficient resources yep all the things that we currently know about uh oh we're about to lose it i don't think the cab's gonna get there in time no there's no way the cab's gonna get there in time but presumably we should be able to swoop in from a couple different angles to maybe push them back out again Um, and the cab, we're just going to swoop into there. I think we're going to get it right back. 
It's unfortunate that our air units got kicked out of there for a whole second. All right, so you guys stay here. Cavs still go into there. These guys go into there. And air units come back. Come back, come back, come back. So it was these two, yep, come back over here. And you're gonna be in this area. Oh, well, we're about to lose it again. Maybe. It keeps going back and forth. Yeah, okay, never mind. We lost it again. So the air unit's gonna get kicked out again. Oh, maybe, maybe we got it. Maybe we're holding on to it. It's hard to tell. How are we doing on recruitment? We're still, we're just not enough supplies to train anything right now. So that's part of our problem. Germany still wants us in their battle. We could bring some of these units back over, I suppose. I don't know how critically those will help us. And we really literally have one perch province over there, so it's really not like if we make it any less, then they definitely can just run through a, a spot. Okay, there we go. Getting the cab in there, definitely flip that back to our side. Um, and there's our air units over here now. Yeah, our air units over here, they're helping us out. Okay, so I think we're okay. I think we saved the day. Should have gotten the cab in there sooner, maybe. Right, winning some battles here and there. Uh, it's starting to flip back around, but... Maybe they'll be able to kick us back out. We d we've lost our entrenchment. That's part of it. So that definitely does not help. Fall of Hong Kong. What's the next good thing we're going to get? I mean, the mechanized offense, again, is not helpful at the moment. Um, engineering company will be helpful, though. All right, we're defending that one pretty well. We seem to be defending that pretty well. For the moment, we're defending this. Man, getting one of these things over here just so we can trim up this line would be so much better. And what are the chances you two guys could do anything here? Sure would make a big difference, I think. If we were somehow able to get that. You know what? For the moment, what if we did this? Grab you and said we force attack. This might be really dumb. I just want to see what happens. It might make might lose us this. But man, if it gained us that before we lost this, that would be pretty significant. And we're technically winning it for the moment. Uh, we're about to start losing it though. It's only active for a few days. All right, so we did lose that one. Um, while we are, got that buff going though. Maybe once these attacks finish, we go ahead and try and, okay, we are attacking in there now. Can you guys, okay, you can't get in there while we're being attacked. Come on, attacks, go away so I can jump in here. Okay, so you guys, if you guys did that, if you guys did that, what if these calves here at least did that? Maybe? I don't know. It's doing something. All right, I think we got that one. Um, Cav stay. You guys definitely go into there. Um, you guys do an attack there just to make sure those guys are held up so they can't get into this tile, hopefully. In fact, Cav. No, you can't do an attack there because we're being attacked. Okay, maybe we got that tile. And if we got that tile, we'll be able to potentially get this tile quicker or even this tile quicker. All right, we got it for the moment. I gotta get some more units in there to help defend it. Okay, so... Now we're okay for the moment. 
We're going to get some more units in here in a second. I mean, they still have 10 units that can attack this tower, right? Let's see here. Uh, escape out for a second. Can this tower... Yeah, this tower can be attacked from over here. That's... Right? No. I can't tell if these 10 units are able to attack this tower or not. It's really hard to see. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. I mean, we're making very slow advances, so yay. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, keep pushing. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.